Well, Zach, I, I, now that you've been able to kind of look back at the tape and all that stuff, what you talk about the toughness and stuff, but what did stand out most about what Hank did? Um, it really is just the competitiveness stood out. Um, I know after the game, man, we, we, we talked through it a little bit, but um, he, just the level that he stepped up, you know, to was, was impressive. You know, I mean, he showed that through practice, but um, you could really see in a game, he elevated his game and um, even to a higher level than we've, we've seen, you know, at times in practice. That was fun to see. So um, the O-line and, and the group there, um, he kind of, again, keeps it light at times too. Um, so he's kind of got that way about him where, where, you know, guys like to be around him. He can still keep the sideline kind of kind of calm and cool. And um, now he'll get, he'll get excited once in a while too, you know, first start <laughs> and all that stuff. But um, he handled himself really well. Um, I think he's, you know, really good leader for our, for our group and you know our O-line obviously does a really good job um, with that leadership role um, but yeah it's I don't know if I've seen a, a kid take as many hits you know as he did get back up and put his helmet back on and let's roll so that was impressive. What did you learn from him now that you've seen him live? <clears throat> Just from a game standpoint I mean he really elevates his game and he uh, wants to score points and he wants to win and uh, he's not afraid to go make plays. Um, he he really um, sees things pretty well, and um, I don't know. It's, it's more of just his his confidence and his attitude, you know, that you can see out there. He's obviously a tough football player. When you watched the film, how was the decision making through the game? There was ups and downs, but for the most part, um, he did a lot of good things. Um, you know, he's he did a great job being under pressure and duress, and. I mean, Give it credit their defense. I mean, they were very athletic. They were big. They were physical. Um, they were fast, and you know, obviously got to him a couple times. Um, but you know, he's um, you know through that game kept coming back and kept um, kept working, and, and he uh, you know we felt like after evaluating him, you know, there were some mistakes, but the. Uh, the leadership and the confidence and the, and the toughness overcame a lot of that. How, how do you weigh wanting him to hang in there and obviously, uh, you know, as long as he can, but also, you know, don't want him to get hit that much? I mean, how, how do you kind of weigh that? It's got to be tough. To, you want him to stay in there as long as you can, but you obviously don't want him to be on the ground as much as he was. Um, yeah, and that's a lot, some of it's communication. Some of it's just one on one things and stuff like that. And some of it's he's holding on to the ball a little bit too long, too. So we want to get the ball out, you know, and, and, uh, and use protections that, that give him uh, some advantage. You know, to be able to see things, and um, but yeah, really we got to be you know smart in what we're doing, and obviously we want to keep him upright, and, and uh, so he can he can uh, continue to keep playing. He's done a really good job with it. Um, he's not a big egotistical kid, um, so he, he's been um, he's been very um, smart about I guess how he handles himself and uh, around the team and around the guys and. Uh, in meetings, and he's been even more focused. Uh, and again, sometimes he does tend to get a little goofy at times, and, and that keeps him um, on that game side of things and just kind of having fun and not getting too tight. Uh, but at the same, you know, at the same token, he is very uh, concerned with preparing and making sure he knows the ins and outs of each play. And um, so, yeah, there's a lot on his shoulders, and I, I think he likes that.